hapa Nairobi tuzungumzie masuala ya kaunti ya Nairobi hususan uh, kuhusiana na serikali kuu kutoa baadhi ya majukumu ya kaunti ya Nairobi na Stephen Leto anafuatilia taarifa hiyo kutoka taasisi ya Kenya School of Government Kabete ambapo speaker wa bunge la kaunti ya Nairobi Beatrice Elachi anazungumza hivi sasa kwenye kikao kinachowajumuisha wananchi na serik- na bunge la kaunti ya Nairobi that the structure that is there because when you look at 187b it is very clear that the functions of schedule 4 constitutionally still remains with the government that takes care of those functions and therefore all i need to plead with the, the executive side is let work in a manner that we create a framework that will not bring hindrance in terms of the smooth uh, transition going to national government and ensuring that we have a framework also that takes care of the CCs who are there how are we ensuring they get into the different committees within their dockets and continue working i know the finance docket will be the heaviest docket and therefore we are not touching it we are saying we want to see polin kahiga transition it to uh, cs yatani y- y- in a proper manner in a manner where you audit the whole systems that are there in a manner where you ensure uh, the human resource that is within the county is still within the payroll and therefore i am hoping that they have a payroll that carries everyone we don't want to hear some are in a payroll some are not in the payroll so those are the things we need to do as we do that public participation they should be doing their public participation looking at their systems the other thing we are saying is as the county assembly is we want to tell the national government you are also not going to just do things without bringing them to the county assembly so that we table and approve for you to show that we have agreed in this framework so that we don't come fighting again and saying no we did not agree on this we never tabled this so those are some of the things we are looking at and especially when we are dealing with human resource i want to plead with the executive that you must respect article 235 236 and the employment act in how you dismiss in how you deploy in how you even right now deal with your staff give them let the public service the county public service manage some of those issues than having uh, executive orders that we bring in a lot of conflict and a lot of cases that we don't need two questions yes one there was the nairobi regeneration team which was said not to have taken up uh, because of lack of goodwill and now there is the takeover and there has been talk of sabotage uh, the latest perhaps incidences of the county worker striking on garbage collection garbage strewn across the streets what then how is this going to be different in terms of goodwill and the second question yesterday we saw the senate Justice League of Fairs Committee looking into the matter on the constitutionality of the takeover perhaps how will the assembly be working with the senate which is the oversight of the devolved government well uh, the both uh, arms are oversight of devolved governments where the shoe pains most is in the county assembly because one of the things that the senate did decided now to go look also on national issues and also try and I'll tell them forgot a bit about their serious role me being one of the senators I've always said having been in the senate I've realized there's a big disconnect between the counties and the senate and the disconnect is they come in when things have been cooked finished and now you find yourself trying to now look on how to engage in the process uh, for me the senate uh, if this uh, for example the issue of the deputy governor they invited this the governor the governor told them what he said if the senate was at that time firm we would be having today a deputy governor in nairobi they left it at that we ended up in this situation they have seen all those reports if the senate was firm today they would have already whistled blowed and said look governor there are these issues and you must deal with them before you are taken to court they left it until ESCC came in picked the governor and what am i saying you left again the county assembly it has worked so hard in pushing the national government on the regeneration of process which the county executive had already signed for 2 years and therefore you are already in the breach of what you signed and you are the one who has gone for help 
So if you have decided to breach whatever you felt was a better framework, now the national government felt we are not going to go into another sabotage. Let's use now the framework of the constitution where now you use Article 187 instead of now dissolving the whole county. And so therefore what the Senate should be helping us because they know, you know, we've become a legalistic country where we forget the, also the will and the goodwill of the people and the citizens. And it is time also the lawyers have to look and say, there are issues you can push for legal, but there are issues you are seeing. Now when somebody comes and throws a, a whole garbage in the city center, I mean, you don't need law. That one, you need to just need, you need order. At that time you put law, but with order. That's, you cannot do that. You cannot sabotage again the process of the president, which you have agreed in goodwill. And he has looked and realized, Nairobi, globally, I'm ranking badly. I'm going down. The UN is complaining. All the big embassies are saying, look, we are about to just leave Nairobi, go to Ethiopia, go where? PTA Bank went to Ethiopia because of all this. We lost people who have gotten jobs. You know, we lost a bad opportunity in that as Nairobi and many other investors who have left Nairobi. So we want to tell the Senate, as you look your constitutionality, which I'm also looking very seriously to ensure the county assembly, assembly floats into this process and sustains itself and remains as the oversight body where we shall be taking reports to the Senate.